Come here, come here. I gotta introduce you to somebody. <laughs> you to is Tom Collins and Tom Collins the drink is not named after really anybody it's named after a hoax that was created in 1874 the drink itself created two years later later in 1876 but today we're gonna actually make a Tom Collins which is the perhaps the greatest summer drink that there is unsurprisingly it has gin in it what a surprise right Today, Tom Collins uh, is made with, uh, actually all Tom Collinses are made with gin. There are other Collinses that can be made with other stuff, but a regular Tom Collins that my mom used to drink back in the 50s and the 60s is made with gin. Tom Collins gets a really bad rap because a lot of times it's made with Collins mix that the bartenders reach down, grab this sickening, sweet, yucky stuff and pour it into a glass and then pour some gin in and put some ice in it and that's their Tom Collins. A real Tom Collins has got a mixture of gin, lemon, and simple syrup and lots of ice. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So today we're going to start with, uh, these are actually Collins glasses. They're also called double old fashions, but we are not going to use them, although I do love these glasses. Stay there. We'll be right back. <laughs> Here, are the glasses that I like to use for Tom Collins. They're beautiful, they got a little pedestal on them. They're not really um, the most uh, classic Tom Collins uh, drink, but uh, glass, but that's what we're gonna use. So let's start with the Tom Collins and we'll mix it up. You'll see how easy it is and you'll wonder why you never made this thing for yourself. First thing we need to do, we're gonna make two of these guys. Uh, we are going to take the gin, and we're gonna do two ounces in each one. Now, this is a high ball. It's not a cocktail per se, because we're gonna mix this in a glass. Each one of these is gonna get two ounces. One, two, and we put it in. And another one, another two, and we put it in. The gin that you should use is something that is juniper forward. You want something that's classic. You want classic dry London gin. This is actually small batch gin. It's Brooklyn gin, but it is extremely juniper forward and uh, I love it. Uh, I also like to use beef eaters in my, uh, in my uh, Tom Collins as well. So here we have that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use simple syrup. Now this simple syrup I made myself this morning, it's really easy, it's 50% sugar, 50% water. You put it in a pan, you get it, you cook it a little bit until it gets clear, and uh, it becomes simple syrup. It's 50-50. We're going to use half an ounce, and I just so happened to figure out that a tablespoon <laughs> is half an ounce. Math is not my forte, so stick with me, babies. The other thing we're going to do next is we're going to put in our citrus. It gets one ounce. All right, so this is lime, I mean lemon, lemon that uh, I actually um, squeezed just to make it easy for you to see and fast. And then this is uh, pretty much the same amount because I did about that much. All right, the last thing we need to do, now I forgot to take something out of the refrigerator, but I'm gonna stir this up just to get this going. The last thing you need, second to last thing you need is soda water, because what makes this fizzy is soda water. So now you've got this great, like, kind of lemonade, and we're going to use soda water. I uh, have Italian sparkling min mineral water. You can use club soda. You can use whatever you want to use to to make it sparkly. Look at that. It's beautiful. You're going to continue to, to stir that up. All right. See how easy this is? Why would you not make this? You're going to garnish it with a lemon. A lot of people will uh, will not use a lemon. A lot of people use oranges. A lot of people use, you know, all sorts of weird things. I tend to like a lemon. And then the final little pièce de résistance is a Luxardo cherry. Now, this is like the best maraschino cherry that you can get in the whole wide world. You buy a jar of these and you can use them through summer and into winter with your um, uh, old fashions. The thing about this, I'm right down to the bottom. I only got like uh, two left. You put this in and you see what this like beautiful little thing does here. It's just so pretty. 
and you do the same thing over on the other one for your friend's drink and you're just so careful and you, you put a little bit of that in there and you put it in you lay it in so beautiful you have a little bit left over for your ice cream and uh you stick one, oh, look at that, how pretty. Hey, I love doing this for you guys. You stick one of these guys in there, one of these little swizzle sticks, just like uh, back in the uh, 50s and 60s, and you have at it. You give one to your friend, you take one yourself, or keep them both, because you know, two is not that sloppy, I've heard. Thanks for watching. Make yourself a Tom Collins, please, because it is the ultimate summer drink. Drink responsibly, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next video.